you really need to know your unit circle, okay? So again, I am only going to make sure you guys have your first quadrant of your unit circle prepared. But again, this question though is asking what is the angle where for cotangent, which is x over y. Now first of all, if we think about our unit circle, the first quadrant at least, we know we have these angles. So we have 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2, and we have square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Now let's forget about the angles for a second because we can go back and figure those out. These are our basic our three main points, correct? And you guys should be able to rewrite them just as quickly as I did. So practice, practice, practice your homework, and I guarantee you don't need to memorize anything. You'll be able to have these three points. These are your coordinate points for our given angles. So they're saying, what angle produces the cotangent of 1 over square root of 3? Well, remember, cotangent of any angle on the unit circle is going to be your x over y, right? So which time, when I have a x coordinate over a y coordinate, would any of these simplify to give me 1 over the square root of 3? I don't know. Let's, you know, if nothing's coming to you. Why don't we try each and every one? 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Huh. First one I tried, got it. So what was that angle? Does anybody remember? It's 60 degrees, and in radians it is? Pi over 3. Theta equals pi over 3. FYI, if we were going to try the other ones, square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2 equals 1. Um, 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Wait a minute. Y over x, x over y, sorry. Wrong way. Square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half would equal the square root of 3. So that's what the other angles would have been. And then you just need to know these other angles. So therefore, theta is pi over 3, or, or 60 degrees. But I will tell you, your answers are going to be expected to be used in radians. Okay?